Trend research has now become a vital tool for everyone, not just for creatives and product designers. At the end of this course, you'll be able to understand the difference between mega trends, macro trends, seasonal trends and fads. Understand how generational archetypes influence consumer behavior. Create a matrix for analyzing needs and responses. Analyze macro trends according to transversal and sectoral perspectives. Develop mood boards for the product design process. Trend research begins with an analysis of megatrends. Megatrends are long-term, wide-ranging trends. Although they are not directly and immediately exploitable in the market, they are nonetheless important because they allow for the creation of a general overview that helps to focus more effectively on more specific trends. This must be associated with an analysis of peer personality and the behaviours of the various generations. Studying generations is useful in order to determine the basic scenario and evaluate the real and potential marketability of individual trends. The results obtained from this preliminary analysis of the scenario allow us to identify the key needs of consumers making up the company's target. The next step is an analysis of the responses to these needs identified by producers or consumers. Consumer trends are the attitudes of consumers towards needs. Industry trends are specific and personal interpretations of consumer trends offered by the industry. The industry and consumer trends must be monitored in terms of duration and scope and divided into macro trends, micro trends and fads. Far from being a tool exclusively for use by creatives and designers, trend research, provided as in this case a less sensitive and more analytical approach is adopted, may be a fundamental tool for determining choices and orientations at many company levels, from overall vision through to R&D activity and marketing and communication strategies.